Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Your Professional Walkthrough, today on Stardew Valley. Do I have a good episode for you guys today? Well, I hope so. We get our dog. So in case we are not successful with the farm, we can do a Chinese restaurant in here. Maybe for a few portions, something. And of course, since it's the first Friday of the year, we are able to do an important thing. Enter the community center, right after I collect the parsnips and water my crops. The great thing about this game is that, let's say you start a new file, and uh, you wanted to choose cat but instead chose the dog. Here, when presented with the option, you do not have to take in the animal. So for the rest of the game, you will not have either a cat or a dog on your farm. When we finally open the mail, we see a note that Joja Corp has finally cleared out the entrance to the mountain, so we can enter the mines as well. Wow, lots of stuff happening. Lucky for us, I am broke so I cannot farm as much as I want to. As Mayor Lewis talks about the community center and its horrible state, we see Junimos. They are like the spirits of the valley and forest and in order to interact more with them, of course we will need to interact with one of the town's NPCs. Now community center will let you choose if you want to do it in a complicated way or the easy way. Most of the rooms will have collections of items or bundles by a small tablet which you need to deliver. In this walkthrough I will do the community center as it has few benefits. Remember how Pierre's store is closed on Wednesday? Well if you complete the center by doing the bundles, this is no longer in effect. The store will be open 7 days a week as Joja will leave the town. And like few people will lose a job because they're employed at Joja, but 
unfortunately I cannot employ them on the farm so they would be able to collect my items for me which would be a great update for the game but here we are Now as I mentioned earlier, in order to investigate and start doing the bundles for the community center, you need to enter one of the rooms where the first tablet is located. Unfortunately you will not be able to read the encryption or the writings on the tablet. So what you will need to do on the next day I think you received the note from the wizard himself and he will be able to help you translate the tablet. After we speak with the local guild leader, we are able to enter the mines. This is where the game's combat mechanics kick in and we can battle all sorts of creepy crawlies. However, the reason why you will see me watch TV every day is to find out what the luck is in said day, so that I can determine if I can go on a dungeon raid basically in the mines. As low luck day means zero to non spawns for ore and minerals or gems, and I need copper, then iron, and then gold to get the items upgraded. So, yeah, mines are a great thing, especially when you have rain, so no energy is wasted on watering your crops, and you have from let's say neutral luck to good day luck or great day luck day to go there. But since we are low on energy, I will do the usual stuff and fish and buy seeds. As the fish is now a good source of replenishment of energy levels for me. Now back to the community center. If you go with the Joja Corp, you first pay like a submission or membership, which is I think around 5,000 gold. And if you do this, the mayor will let them transform the community center into a storehouse. This means that Pierre will always remain open for 6 days a week and NPCs will keep their jobs. If you will finish all the bundles, you get a reward which you can display in your house and I believe in the last update the Junimals or the Spirits of the Forest are able to be purchased to collect your crops for you. Now I have never utilized this building but yeah. If I will do a season 2, 
I will most likely sell the community center to Joja. But for that, you will have to tune in again to Not Your Professional Walkthroughs here with me on YouTube. So, I hope you will destroy the subscribe button in the meantime, and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh yeah, by the way, I'm testing out different games to see what my system will manage to record in a decent quality so that I have more variety as you see me doing both Stardew Valley and Graveyard Keeper is so that I'm not completely bored and burned out of editing one game. So yeah. If you will have any suggestions for games, possibly leave them in the comment section. I will go through them, see if I have them, see if I can afford them, see if my potato can run them. You know, the usual stuff. But all that on the next episode of Not Your Professional Walkthroughs.